Hello, this is Victor and I'm here with a new tutorial and this time I'm going to do something easy. I'm going to explain how to do the uh, bases for Necromunda. These are the well, this is one of the Goliath base, the 32mm base and I, we will start applying uh, a layer of black because I want to do dry brush of uh, metallic later on and I want to have a more solid black. Remember that I did genital, uh, I, I did in that case genital priming, so and in the, uh, for the base it's not working in that case, so you will really need to have uh, completely black uh, priming. So we are going to apply a layer of black. Once this is done, I will be back. We have all the bases now with black and the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the very brush of uh, Iron Breaker to leave it on that stage. So what we do is we take just uh, Iron Breaker, we do a very heavy dry brush and we put this all around the base, okay? Doesn't matter, uh, we want to really have a wood metallic. The only thing I'm more careful when once the dry is when the brush is drier, I go to these bands here. I try to give the recesses in the bands to leave them in black. If there is some a little bit of metallic going there, it's not a big issue. We can do a noon or wash later on. But the intention here clearly is to what well, you see here we can go heavier with but because we are doing like a dry brush, we are going to have this natural look uniform and, and brush strokes that will give the sensation of of um, scratches and and damage on the metal directly. So I re highly recommend do this technique here for these bases. You're going to save a lot of time and just doing that you almost have a very nice base to start painting to, to do all the details. So I do that on all the bases so you can see how all of them are looking like. But here I have done some of them. So here you see how is the final result after the dry brush. So I do that and I come back. Once the dry brush of Iron Breaker is done, we are going to do a uh, the wash. Sorry, the dry brush. So now we are going to do a wash with Aglax Air Shade, as you can see here. So the, result, the we want to make this metallic look dirtier, okay? And the Aglax Air Shade will give a very uh, nice will will work will make it work very well. Okay, so we do that, As, uh, do it when you are sure that the previous layer of metallic is completely dry. Okay, and now this step you will need to wait a little bit more. If it's pulling in some places like here, I let it do, because it's, it's good to have some darker, so you don't want, I'm not looking now for a uniform distribution of the wash, and as you can see, I'm using quite a, a big brush to do that. So I apply this wash of Aglet Air Shade and yeah, I will be back once this has dry. So this how it looks like after applying the Aglet Air Shade. And now I'm going to apply uh, in some areas uh, Typhus Corrosion. This will add to the effect of the, of the rust that we are going to apply later. So I'm going to apply for example here. We can apply it a little bit here. We try. We have to put it on the areas where we want to add corrosion later on. Okay. For example, here we can do that. Let's do each base a little bit different. Okay. Some bases can maybe you don't need this type of corrosion. We can add this here. We can do other bases more corroded than others. We can add, for example, this one here to make one of these, some of, one of these like okay. So we put this on random spots. For example, here this one that is already dark, we can add and make all these. Well, normally I, I prefer to add this on corners or on areas that we think that can get 
corrode it easily so we can apply it for example here we can apply it later on okay we'll do the same in this one for example this one that especially the ones that were very dark we can apply a little bit okay We are not going, I don't want to boost abuse too much on that. Just for this one, we can put more on the this ones. And later on, we can play a little bit more on that. So, but the idea is to can make some more than others. is too clean so it will add some dirtiness I think that this is more this one we can this here and then So the first ones already divide. Now we are going to add some reason rust. Okay. And add some reason rust. Again, I prefer to do not to follow the receipt from the workshop. I prefer more to use it as a wash. Can apply some sample here. Once it's very clear where we want to go. The good thing of the typhus corrosion is that it's giving texture. Okay, so this part, for example, that we have had a lot of typhus corrosion will give. here this is quite dark so I try to go also the places where the, the dry brush leaf left some spots dark and put some uh, of this wrist rest so I will do I will keep applying on the other uh, bases and I show you back when I done them okay this is how the, the, like, they look like now okay with all the different uh, types of brass I did not want to heavy and now but now we are going to add some more dirtiness and I'm going to use a sponge so you can use 
uh, traditional sponge to do that. You remove this part, you break it, and you make quite a, a something irregular like this thing here. Okay. We are going to use quite a dark color to not hide. So we put a little bit on some part of the sponge. I'm going to break this for here, for example, to make something like this. Something irregular. You put it there. Then what you do is I remove the excess until I have something like that. Okay, and then you can put more pressure less pressure or put you put more pressure on that okay and I take these things and I will put some random dirtiness okay something like that so we okay this will make the basis look weathered Okay, you see? It's quite a fast, easy tip. And normally we'll go more you can go more heavy one pass than others. But you see it's like we'll do the same effect. We'll go like a dry brush, we'll pick more the corners. You can see that just I did not take I did not need more paint than the first time. I, take. I don't want you so it all depends how heavy you want to go, but I don't want to go. This is more than enough. Okay, this is representing some. Uh, but here we have more, so you can you see I play with the quantity. So this is done. Okay, so but we can do some, we can add some extra texture to that. Uh, one option is to add, we can, you can add a little bit of blood on some of them. Or uh, the thing I was thinking is to make like, you can add a little bit of, for example, Nargel Raw to simulate a, a type of toxic residual. Uh, you can use with Nargle rod or we can make that I think I will do it more with let me think I will do it maybe with uh, like a, in the traditional way like if it's more a radioactive type of residue so I will use first we can start with a very dark color can I start with Caliban Green and I, we don't do this on all the parts and we just do that on some of the bases to give an additional character for example this one we can go here to the, this corner we add a little bit of this green okay, normally the, then we add Mod green. Then I will add a little bit of his not green. Then we let it dry and we are going to put a little bit of gloss varnish. You can put this a little bit here. You can put in this one as well. Put a little bit of this one here. We can do all type of... Yeah, let's do this. Two greens for example is enough. Just to give a little bit of variety.
Okay. Maybe we can make here one. Let's do one that is not really in the corner, one that is more like if it's okay. That's what I mean if it's just a something that is looking from another place. And we add what green with a little bit of um we play so the player is one who has what stone green and no what do you mean? Okay. So let it make this type of patterns. Okay, so two of them are good. Let's do one with a little bit of blood. Don't put too much. So just, for example, we can put this one here, and we can put, let's do if it's, so there is different ways to do spots of blood. But one way I will use in that case is we take a brush that is quite open. We just wash with this in the top. Let me show you in, on paper. Okay. No. We do like that and then. So. so something like that. It's more than enough. Someone have been walking in the doorway. Okay, and I think this should be enough. The other thing we can do, thinking you can also have like a uh, how it's called this grease leakage um, of oil. Like if it oil is having, you can use for example to simulate other type of. Let's do with oil, you can simulate like if there is some grease or something like that. Okay. So let me do it here. I'm going to use Noon Oil Glossy in that case. Okay. What we can do... Okay, let's suppose that there is uh, oil leakage somewhere like that. that and we let it dry. Okay. So it's like if it's just to add different uh, finishings and to make them look different. So the last step I recommend to do this for me are like grids. So I want to look you can also add for example I will add here let me put in some of them. We can use Agat Air Shade. Uh, gloss. Okay. This will simulate like if there is some liquid there. Okay, we can put this there. It will simulate that these ones have some liquid in there. You can add that in some of them, not at all, because some can be quite deep, others can have just a liquid behind. You can even add this radioactive liquid in some of the grids if you want. But this, for example, we can put this like there is some water below. We can do a couple of them with this type of finishing. This one that is very rusted will look good. So we add if like there was some water, or some, not water, but some type of olive residue and then will match with the nun oil that we have already applied there. Okay. Ok. 
Okay. Leave this ones like that. Let's do another one, for example, this one. This one, this good in the middle. Okay. Okay. And now the rest I will do with normal moon oil. I will cover and the vintage I'm using new oil because it will go naturally in the recesses and it's much easier to do. Here what I'm looking just is to really make the holes black. Okay. to give depth So I finish the other ones and I show you once everything half the way. So at the end, this is how the, all the bases look like. Now they are ready to glue on top the, the fighters, so the Goliath. This is, these are the bases for the Goliath. So we have here this one with this is the I know is with the glossy uh, wash, some with some blood, uh, with this type of uh, type green. A residue liquid there, maybe this is not. So we have the rust, so I think, and then we have some that have liquid in the grid, and then other ones that are just uh, black. So I really enjoyed painting this, these bases. I think they are, uh, they look good, and they are ready. So this is a, another tutorial for the channel. Uh, if you want to know, uh, how, if you want to do bases like these ones, and these are uh, good for Necromunda, any science fiction game or even for 40k uh, for city fight so this is another way to do a city fight uh, or hive so if you want to have your your army um, yeah with the background that isn't on a city fight on a hive fight so that's all for now i hope you like it leave the comment below give a like if you have like it and as usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you later. Bye!